Rabiu Kwangko so speaks on the third force and says APC and PDP have failed Nigerians. And Rivers State APC rules out sole governorship candidate for 2023. This is Plus Politics. I am Mary Anna Cohn. A former governor of Kanu State, Rabiu Kwankwaso, has said both the People's Democratic Party PDP and the All Progressive Congress APC have failed Nigerians. And according to him, the third force will take over power in the, from the APC in 2023. Alongside Kwankwaso, former Minister of Youth and Sports Development Solomon Dalong, popular northern critic Buba Galadima, and other prominent Nigerians inaugurated the national movement in Abuja. The former Kano state governor also said the third force planned to achieve real democracy in this country. Well, joining us to discuss this is legal practitioner Ladikbot Johnson. Thank you very much, Mr. Johnson, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Tell us what this third force is really about. I mean, aside from the fact that um, uh, former governor Kwankwaso is saying the major... Um, point of it all is to wrestle power from the APC. What, ex ex what, ex what exactly distincts the third force from every other third force that we've heard of? Well, um, thank you. Uh, what I can say... Hello? I can hear you. Yes. What I can say is that um, I think the genesis of it all was the fact that um, there are quite a few members of the two major parties that are not that are not happy with the um, situation in both parties, um, and as you saw yesterday. There were members of both the APC and the DP and a lot of non-politicians and people from all walks of life who came together to form and to launch um, the national movement. Now, I think it is um, the people, the press, Nigerians as a whole, who have turned it a third force. What is said and what is being said is that they are all, they've all remained in their various parties, but are coming together to say that, look, we haven't reached our potential as a country. We haven't done what we should be doing um, in government or as government. Nigeria, etc., and etc. So they've come to that, and um, they believe that they can work on all existing parties and negotiate to ensure that uh, they deliver um, proper services to the people of the country. Mm. Now, whether or not it will be only the third force that people have been talking about. I mean, it needs to be seen. But what Senator Kwonkozo said yesterday was that he remains a member of the PDP. Hmm. And um, <clears throat> the message which they will be putting out will not just be put out to um, other parties, but also to the PDP and to the APC. Hmm. And as I said, they have people from um, both major parties um, as members of the team. Okay. Now, the former governor has said that the APC and the PDP, in his words, have failed Nigeria and Nigerians. Now, 
And he has also clearly stated that he's still a member of the PDP, which he is saying has, uh, has failed Nigerians. Does that not one way or the other categorize him as part of the failure that he's making reference to? But I guess you're referring to the party was Nigerians or something. Well, yes, he's saying that the APC and the PDP are, have failed Nigerians, but he's a member of the People's Democratic Party, so is that not one way or the other him indicting himself? No, no, no. You see, it's, it's politics, it's governance. Nothing is perfect. Um, we shouldn't see it as an indictment. You can say that this is what we haven't done well enough. The people are suffering. The economy is not working. There's been security. Now, you think that both major parties who have government have served the people. It is the last person who to tell you that for them, the stuff is not to change. There's no perfection. But so we seek to prove at every stage at the point in time. What he has stated is the truth. It is something that you know that the party at the moment went with the People's Democratic Party. You could say the same as well. But he said, I was saying, I don't know what these parties do send out to the people again. Because you've sold programs over the years that are not the whole programs, but the implementation is always what we should do. And some people. So that is that, uh, um, to put it, but it's a recognition of the fact that we're not where we actually should be as, as a country. And, and what, and what? That is the starting point. And, and, and saying that, I mean, all the things that you're saying now is what the average Nigerian ordinarily understands, that we're not where we are supposed to be. Um, the plans and the programs that, and the promises that have been made have not in any way been fulfilled. But you cannot sit in a place and, and criticize that place for not doing right. And they keep doing what they've been doing. Now that we have the third force and the, the former governor is telling us that this third force will unsit the APC, but then he also said that this third force has members from different political parties, I'm sure, including the APC and the PDP that he's criticizing. So if you're bringing all these people together under one umbrella, trying to start a movement of sorts, what change are they going to effect if it's the same people who've been doing the same thing over and over again, without any form of change. So what will the third force do to change all of that? Yes, um, I think you, you have a valid, um, it's a valid question. But look at it this way. Certain people run the party or the different parties at a particular time. And then there are certain people in government at a particular time. Now the fact that you are a member, a card-carry member of a party, does not mean that you agree with the way the party is operating, or if it is a party in government, with the way government is being run. Unfortunately, it is in Nigeria that you start getting no anti party activity for, let's say, constructive criticism of a member of your party who says is the minister or the governor or the president. It is in Nigeria that you get that. Now, what does that we have seen our parties, our big parties, we are not happy with the way things are being run. Those in the ruling party are saying, we are not happy with the way government is running. So they have a right to come together, to forge a union, to try to present and do 
in a different, more efficient manner that and put a giant eye. If to do that, and we pray that they are successful, anyone that is to improve the lot of Nigerians, we should be praying for that, that they are successful. Mm. So I know that, yes, we are coming from the same parties, the existing parties are coming together, but it doesn't seem to be the same way. I'm, I'm curious to the know who... I'm of the pudding, as they say, they are the taste of the pudding, as they say, they be eating. Okay. When, if, if, if it becomes, or becomes a party, or negotiates and goes, and they go into another party, apart of the APC or PDP, then let's all see what they want to do. Mm. I'm curious to know who... Well, we know one thing for certain, majority of Nigerians are tired of what we've had to date from both of the major parties. I'm a member of one of the major parties. That so, doesn't mean I wouldn't say, tell the truth. I'm that things are not going the way we want them to go. Uh, Mr. Johnson, I'm curious to know who the front or the major key players in these, this movement are. Because you mentioned about, you know, certain persons running uh, the big parties at certain times. And I'm wondering... Um, with all of these key players, depending on who they are and whatever their agenda is, um, will they not be vilified by the d different political parties that they already are members of as having anti-party activities, being that this movement uh, is very suggestive of something that uh, is here to displace the so-called big parties? Um. <laughs> There again, I lost you again, so I'm going to turn. All right, let me ask, let me ask again, the quickly. The issue of the major players. Okay. Um, we would have hoped that someone like Marianne would have been a major player. I'm not the surprised. The average Nigerian is a major player, as, as, um, as far as we're concerned. Then it was, as you know, has an existing movement, the Quantum movement. And it involves people at the grassroots level, the man on the street. And those are major players to him. Now, I know where you're going to with your question. There are several names that have been mentioned or banded around. And all I will say is that you should know that when such things happen or come, come about, there will be many people who are interested who will wait for certain things to happen before, especially people who are currently in government, they will want to wait for certain things to happen before they come out to be counted. All I will say is that um, from where I'm standing or sitting, I know that um, consultations have been going on for about a year and that there are many, many, many existing politicians who, from all parts of the country who are involved. I also know that they've made particular efforts to bring in a lot of the youth and a lot of people who you do not know, we don't know their names. Mm. They're fresh faces, they're new faces. Where we go from here, um, the good Lord will let us know. Hmm. Uh, I, said, um, I don't think he has said that um, he's leaving the PDP or that the other man is leaving the APC or what have you. But whatever they want to do in trying to better the lot of Nigerians in coming together to say that they want to influence the parties, the major parties, and even the minor parties. Um, we'll wait and see, see uh, know what um, direction things will go. Uh, I'm not trying to be negative or pessimistic in any way, but this sounds to me like uh, what a merger uh, of angry people, a merger of people who just want to grab power. I mean, this is what he said, that they want to wrestle power from the 
um, APC come 2023. But this sounds to me like this, uh, you know, a makeup of what the APC sorry, was. Sorry, Can you, can you, can you hear me again? again? I'm so sorry. All right. So I'm saying that this sounds to me like a measure of angry people who are dissatisfied for personal interest and want to wrestle power in 2023. It sounds like an APC to me. But I ask, if the if the plan is to wrestle power in 2023, is there a plan after if they do wrestle this power and get it? Is there a plan? Or are we going to be facing another APC situation down the line? Well, um, well I'm sorry. Um, what I got was about wrestling, wrestling power, to wrestle power. I'm saying, is this now, going to be I another APC situation? I'm sorry. But what I'll say is that the intention, I think the basic intention is not just is not to wrestle power, is not just to take over the government. I think the first and most important thing is to influence the way um, uh, is being implemented, the way services are being delivered to the people of the country. I think that is anyone that really wants to help, that is the first um, step. Now, in trying to do this, if your movement, as I say in quotes, catches fire, the people of Nigeria feel that, yes, this is what we've been looking for, this is what we want, then you might be able to go all the way to wrestle power, as you put it, or take over government fully. But there are cases where you do not have to take over government, or you can be part of government. You can be part of government. You can bring your influence to bear on government. You can bring your influence to bear on the National Assembly and on the executive to make sure that things begin to go in a particular direction. So I don't think that um, it's just about power grabbing. I'm not sure if that was the question, or it's just about resting power. Mm -hmm. As I said, it's an it's delivery the people, country, and uh, unfortunately, we're having connection issues, so I'm going to have to wrap the conversation up here. Um, Mr. Oh, Mr. Johnson, apologies, oh, we're, we're losing uh, that connection with you. But Ladipo Johnson is a legal practitioner and he's been speaking with us about the new movement that was flagged off um, yesterday in Abuja by former Governor Kwanko.